Hello, welcome back. Today I want to share how we have simplified Christmas decor and the holiday season. The first thing I've done for the last few years is to try not to decorate too early. As a mom who doesn't like to see a lot of clutter and extra decor and extra things everywhere, I try to wait until after Thanksgiving to start decorating for Christmas and the holidays. I just find that way I can enjoy it more without being irritated by the time Christmas actually arrives. I know this is different for everyone, but this is what works for me as someone who gets affected by seeing a lot of extra things in their home or a lot of extra clutter. Another way we've simplified is I don't go out and buy new decor. It is super rare when I add something to my collection of decorations for the holiday season. I have what I love. It is a very traditional type of decor. And because of that, I'm not afraid that it's gonna go out of style. It is something that will stand the test of time, in my opinion. And I know it's fun to change things up every once in a while, bring something new in. For me, I just have become accustomed to the stuff we have, and this saves me a lot of money. I also don't feel this urge to rush out and try to get all the things before they're gone in the stores. And of course, if you're new to home decor or you've just moved into a house, yes, you might need to buy some stuff. But we have the things we love, all the memories are attached to these items. And so it is very rare that I add something into my holiday decor collection. And that really helps us to stay more minimal is just not having to add things because I know if I added something every year, I would have to uh, expand the amount of bins I have and all of that. A really excellent tip I have for decluttering Christmas decor is each year when I bring the Christmas bins out, if there is something that I have not used or I felt I didn't need to put out on a shelf or use, I will usually declutter that item. So that's one way to stay kind of minimal with decor because I've found if I don't use it one year, the odds of me using it the next year are pretty rare. One way I like to stay minimal or keep my life simplified is to set limits for myself. And this works great in my opinion, at least for me, I'm just the type of person that if I have said I'm only going to have two Christmas bins, if the items will not fit into those Christmas bins, then I have to downsize. And limiting things in my life have helped to keep me clutter-free and also way more minimal. And I just find that having that limit, even though I've made it myself, it just makes it so much easier to make the decision, okay, I cannot keep this item because it can't fit in the bin and I am not going to get an extra bin. Today's video is in collaboration with a lot of other channels that talk about decluttering and minimalism. It is on a large playlist made by Dawn the Minimal Mom and it's called Mega Motivation. I will have that playlist linked below so you can check out everybody's decluttering tips for Christmas decor and the holiday season. Last year during the holiday season, I went over to my parents' house and I helped my mom go through all of her Christmas decor. Yes, because every year for the last 30, 35 years, I open the box up, unwrap the little Hallmark ornament, hang it on the tree, and then when I'm done, I have so many boxes to rewrap, put the ornaments back in, it's, so it makes me not want to use the ornaments. So yeah. my goal is to be able to use the ornaments easily, open up one little plastic bin, put them all on the tree, and then take them down. I can link that video down below. And we decided to get rid of all the Hallmark boxes that she was keeping all of her ornaments in. Here goes the boxes. There's a few reasons why I suggest doing this. Number one, it is going to give you so much more room in your Christmas bin to store all of your stuff. The second thing is I used to also have these boxes because I was told by someone, keep the box because the ornament might be worth a lot of money someday. Guess what? They're still not worth a lot of money and I'm not going to keep something that I don't like just because 
it might be worth some money someday. So for me to keep the ornament, I don't need to keep the box and they're so bulky. The other reason why I'm so happy I got rid of the boxes is it simplified decorating and putting things on the tree and taking them off and putting them away. So it's cut the time in half when it comes to decorating. And I also used to avoid using the ornaments that had the boxes because it was so annoying to have to unwrap this little ornament, put it on the tree, then rewrap it carefully, put it back in the box. It just took so much time <laughs> and it was the opposite of living simply for me. So that might be something that you could simplify is just get rid of all those extra boxes, wrap them in paper and store them in your holiday Christmas decor bin. 1987 yeah. first Christmas together. What does that mean? You and dad? No, that was my old boyfriend. <laughs> So that, that can go. Okay. Another way I've really simplified how many things I have to store for the holiday season is I went to reusable wrapping cloth bags and I actually made a bunch myself. I can link that video down below because that was a really fun project that I did. It's simply just getting some colorful Christmas uh, material, sewing up a little bag, and then we reuse these bags every single year for our Christmas gifts. If I have to buy somebody a gift that is not in my immediate family, I will usually use a paper bag that has been reused from the year before. So I'm really trying to be more eco-friendly with that. But more than that, it's just, I don't wanna store those huge, rolls of wrapping paper and bows. Uh, I like to use a ribbon instead of those plastic bows with the sticky thing on them. I just find it takes up way less space and it's just something we can reuse year after year. And that has really helped simplify how much stuff I have to store. The holiday season used to stress me out a little bit. I used to feel as if I had to decorate my house a certain way because I would see all these images online of beautifully decorated homes where every room in our home is decorated. And I decided that that just was not for me because it stressed me out and it took the joy away from the holiday season. So now I usually decorate one main room in my home, usually around the fireplace or where we put our Christmas tree. I'll have some decor there. That is what has worked for me. It makes me feel calm through the holiday season. It's also simplified uh, putting all the decor up and taking it down. I can do it very quickly, but we still do like to decorate even though we are minimalist that is something that we enjoy doing. So we keep some decor and we do like to decorate. Let me know below. Let's have a conversation in the comments. Do you like to decorate for Christmas? What are some tips you have for simplifying the holiday season? And thank you so much for joining me today. I'll see you in the next video. Bye. If you're looking for some extra decluttering tips, check out my ebook, which I have linked below.